Hello again, Interwebs. Welcome back. My name's Tethys, and today we're continuing our playthrough of Stardew Valley. We've got some mail, and it looks like our parsnips... I think parsnips are done? Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, might consider having you build a well. Be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. 75 stone and 1,000 G. Yeah, we don't have the money for that right now. Like caused by our drilling off the mountain lake. Oh, sweet. I think that means that we can go mining. But first, let's go. Yep, that's what I thought. Parsnips, and they're done. Alright. Let's throw those in storage for now. Along with the wood. I think we were. Right, we were grabbing the wood that we needed to fix that bridge at the, um, the ocean, or the beach, uh, but I don't think we're going to do that today. I think today we're going to go and play around in the mine for a bit, since we need the money, and that would be a great way to get some. And then, once we have enough money, because we need, I think it was 2,000, 2,000 uh, G that we needed for um, the inventory expansion, is what we needed. So that's what we're going to work on getting the money for, and then once that happens, we'll work on getting a chicken coop. Because there is person that I want to start working for a relationship on this game with who thoroughly enjoys eggs as a present, so that will be the hope. And, oh, great. Also meet the adventurer. Just peering down into this old mine shaft, it's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. And give me a sword! Yes! It's dangerous to go alone, take this! Name's Marlin, by the way, I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep an eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Okay. Down we go! Just our luck, it doesn't seem like there's any monsters on this particular floor. Ooh, perfect. Since there's no ore to pick up there. And some quartz. We don't want to expend too much energy when we're down here, especially considering how far we can go. But unfortunately... Oh, we're just getting lucky is what we are. A small glow ring. Uh, we can equip that. And it makes it so that we can see things a little better. Which in the early stages is not a bad idea. That's some hardwood. But we don't really... We also have to take into consideration the fact that we do have the limited inventory. So you want to try and keep as much needless stuff out of it. Fortunately, we don't need that leak. Because those can be picked up pretty much any time. Alright, so we got some bugs. And, uh, the Adventurer's Guild also has little achievements for killing a certain amount of, uh, monsters. And you get, like, little, I basically just house decoration rewards, so it's not necessarily a huge issue if you don't want to do them, but it's also a nice little thing that makes it worth coming down here even just if you kill monsters. Okay, so that's number five. So we found the elevator, which means we can just come right down to this level of the mine next time we come out, although we don't need to worry about it because our energy isn't too bad right now, and we just keep finding the stairs. 
Another thing that I probably should have thought of was uh, bringing down the hoe, because uh, worms can end up in here and we want to um, use the hoe to make them pop out, because we can get uh, artifacts for the museum. Thank you. Oh, sometimes creatures end up spawning stairs which is also great. And the fact that we've got the copper here, I think that, that means that we actually have enough copper for that um, refining forge, which is awesome. Because then we can eventually upgrade our tools. Oh, and there's those little things. I'm not worried about that. The best thing to do is try and get these guys up against a wall, because then they don't bounce back from you. And because you keep hitting them, they can't attack, because it keeps cancelling their moves. And like I said, sometimes they'll spawn the staircases, and it looks like we might need them to. Just based on the fact I'm not seeing much, if any, staircases. You can sell this slime as well, so it isn't a bad idea to collect it. And we've got white algae here, which uh, will make our energy go up as well as our health. Oh! That's what I thought. Little crabs. Rock crabs. Rock lobster. A cherry bomb. Which is great for um, doing a certain uh, radius of rock clearing. If, uh, especially if you're low on energy. And see what I mean though about the, uh, the glow ring making that area easier to see. Otherwise you just wander around in the dark. Alright, now... Either I am just really blind... Or I am not seeing a staircase. Oh, how much you want to bet it's this guy? Oh! You have to actually kill all the creatures. Yeah, sometimes you end up with those levels too. As you no doubt saw. Pointing out the obvious. Coal, some rocks, got some copper. Nope, 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 nope. I do like the bugs though because um, they're really easy to kill, so they're just uh, useless. And they do give uh, some of that. Oh! Another, we're gonna call it a rock lobster, even though it ends up giving you a crab when you kill it sometimes. Okay, I think we just have to hope we get lucky and find a staircase, which gives me a great opportunity to do this. Oh, I was still too close. But we found the staircase, so. At the very least, I don't want to leave until we um, manage to find the next staircase, which is the le one level down, so it's not going to be a huge issue. I also enjoy these uh, wide open ones because these wide open um, levels, uh, because they usually end up having quite a bit in terms of resource gathering. Oh! Uh, okay, so we want to get rid of the sap, because that gives us a small magnet ring. That increases our radius for collecting items. And a topaz, which is something that we will probably just go and put into the museum to start with, because the museum can give you some pretty um, nice house items as well. And as far as I can recall, Topaz doesn't sell for too much, so it's not really that big of an issue. Nope, 
Leave me alone. I just... Oh, all right. No, I don't want to eat that. I want to eat the white algae, because it'll give us more energy. Yeah, not a huge boost, but it's better than nothing. And considering we're just trying to find our way down to the next level, it should be enough. Owie. No, get away. You're making me slow. There we go. Just deal with that pain in the butt. Um, those big, uh... Found the staircase, and that means that we- right, I forgot that we get this. Leather boots. And those are used for increasing our defense, and I believe... What's the immunity for again? I can't recall. But, uh, that is perfect, so let's leave. And, uh, the minecart, eventually you can, um fix the minecart so that it can just take you to the bus stop instead of having to go all the way around. But that's not for quite a bit yet, so we're not going to worry too much about it. But thankfully, that trip just gave us all the copper that we need, not even including the stuff that we have stored back at the house. So what we'll end up doing is... Ref making the forge and then refining the copper. And uh, the reason we want to upgrade your tools is so that they can, uh, like for the pickaxe for instance, it can hack through rocks without as many clicks, which saves us a ton of energy. So, let's take a look. Crafting. We can make a furnace right off the bat. Journal updated. We will look at that momentarily, but first, let's go put it all up right... Oh, can I not put it there? Oh, I can put it there. And then we can take that, and it takes five copper to refine. And how much do we have? We have enough for almost five stacks. Or, not stacks, five pieces. Okay, so let's put the coal in there. Topaz, we're going to take the museum. The bug meat can be used later for fishing as a, um, a lure, as bait. Um, hardwood, we'll just hold on to it, because eventually it can be used for other things. Uh, maple seeds will sell, sell the sap. We'll go get the geodes broken up, because, oh crap. Mmm... I have a feeling that the blacksmith closes at 8.30? No, it closes at 4. Jeez, no, we're definitely not seeing it today. Nope, we don't want to do that. Uh, no. I want to divide it. Oh, there we go. Then we sell that and that. And we've got one copper bar. Requires one coal. That's right, I forgot about that. That's why the coal is so important. And now we've got the quartz and the topaz saved for the museum. So we'll go and put that in there. Fingers crossed I don't see any worms, because I don't want to turn around and go get the hoe, but I will if I have to. And... Oh, maybe the museum's not open right now, because I think it closes at 8. Should have checked my map before I went anywhere. Oops! Now it closes at 6. Okay, so, before we end this episode, we are going to go to the next day, and 
put the items in the museum and get those geodes cracked open and see what we get. I don't think we're going to get too much in terms of anything good, but it needs to get done because otherwise they're just sitting there collecting dust and we only have so much space. Hopefully we get at least some money for what we deposited today. I'm carrying things when I don't need to be. Level 1 farming. Making fertilizer. Level 2 mining. Make staircases. Those make it so that we can go down a level without having to find the staircase in the mine. But we need like... A hundred? I think a hundred stone? Excuse you. Rooster. Oh. So you haven't, you've been exploring that you've got an adventure spirit. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurous guild. Well, I think we're pretty close to that. Let's throw that in and get the fine. Whilst we go... Uh, it's not open till eight. Okay. I had to... Oh! Didn't realize that that was done, so let's... Like that, throw that in. We want to make the best use of our time that we can. By the time we get to the blacksmith, they should be open. Which would be awesome. Tweet, tweet. While I'm at it, let's pop... Uh, it's locked until 9. So by the time we finish the blacksmith, it should be open. What I want to do is go grab more seeds and get some more uh, plants going. And my timing was... Oh, it's open at 9. Lickery. Every Tim. Well, still going here. Well, not a single piece in the entire collection. Well, lucky for you, I brought stuff. Found something. Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Lies, I know you got those sitting in the back collecting dust. If you decide to donate, just bring the items to the front desk. I know it says objects. I got stuff. So we're gonna put minerals there, and stones there. And that was just our journal updating telling us, collect stuff. And we got some money rewards. Lies. Reach level 40 in the mines. Reach farming level 1 and craft a scarecrow. Build a coop. And a hundred there. Okay. That's some extra money. Uh, but yeah, that's what we were thinking of anyway doing was the coop, so... That will be on our next list of stuff to do. So let's pop on over. No, no, wait. Let's just sit here for a couple seconds. I'll fast forward it, don't worry. Okay, so now that this is open, let's pop on in. And process. Oh, no. Uh, oh, there we go. Five stone. Malachite? Yep, malachite. Earth crystal. Mudstone. Clay. Lies, they do have room, you just don't know it. Okay. Let's hop out of there. Throw out the stone. And maple seed. Get rid of the clay, because we're not using it for anything yet. And it's just not, not worth holding on to. Petrified slime. Five stone. Mm. 
Alamite. Alright, so... Ended up being quite worth opening those geodes, because now we got a bunch of stuff. Oh, let's just grab that. Bunch of stuff to donate to the museum. So like I said, minerals here. Stone. 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 Collect rewards. Cauliflower. Uh, and spring takes 12 days. Well, we did want to go and plant more stuff, so that ended up working out quite well. So now we will pop on over to the store and grab some more seeds, just to fill in those little blanks, because we only have nine cauliflower seeds. And we have 15 spots. I'm gonna make the use of that. Yo. Oh. Sweet. Uh, so we need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kale. In spring takes six days to mature. Harvest with a scythe. So takes a uh, blue puffball flower. Eh, we'll take a look at it later. The reason I don't do too many cuts with this game is just because I feel otherwise you're, it gets really jumbled and it's honestly not that many. And I feel like with a game like this you just you kind of like to sit here and watch the whole gameplay. At least that's my opinion. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would prefer me to be cutting away. I can totally do that, it's no issue. Alright, let's get these watered. Much else. <clears throat> oh well, we could go and collect the stone. The um, not the stone. <sighs> the wood for the bridge. So we will go and quickly collect that because we've got a bunch of uh, energy left, and it seems pointless to waste the day otherwise. I would like to eventually make this area up here for the coop. Why it was clicking so fast on my mouse when I could just hold it down. That would make it less annoying, too. Oh, I lost all that. That sucks. So we should, I think we could get almost a stack and a half of uh, wood, which would be awesome, because then tomorrow we could actually fix the uh, bridge. That'll be in the next episode, of course. I feel like that that's deserving of its own little episode, not as an end. Plus, I'd be wasting a day otherwise to... Uh, Go to the next one. How much we got? Not much left. But just oh, I really wish that it wouldn't do that. 110. Okay, so not really a stack and a half, but pretty sizable chunk. Let's just go throw this in so that we got everything nice and stacked. We'll sell that and that and that. That and that. That, that. So that we make some income. And I will also, before I end the video, show you guys what we'll make for the day. Although I 
I don't anticipate too much, but hopefully enough to get the bag increase. So let's see what we get. Oh, not too bad. So anyways, that's it for the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Stardew Valley, and if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can keep up to date on all the videos that I post. I try to put uh, this with the Resident Evil videos that I'm doing, just so that you guys have a little of a variety, and if you're not interested in watching Resident Evil. So, thanks for watching again. Bye!